Hello everyone, I am Preena Mabel, Assistant Professor of English in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to learn about poems that are given in Unit 1 American Literature. The first poem is Mending Wall. It was writ written by Robert Frost. So Robert Lee Frost was born on 26th March 1874. He was one of the most popular of 20th century American poets admired for the blend of colloquial and traditional in his verse. Mending Wall was published in 1914 in his volumes of poems titled North of Boston. He was died on 29th January 1963. This poem was written in blank verse and set is in rural New England. Robert Frost speaks about something that doesn't love the wall and it made the walls to be broken frequently. Every year the speaker and his neighbor, his name is Napoleon Gay, they used it to repair the walls but there is no use of it. His neighbor Napoleon Gay was determined to repair the walls simultaneously once in a year. But the speaker was not interested in it. When the speaker tired to con tried to convince the neighbor that the wall is not necessary, the neighbor keeps on saying good fences makes good neighbors. So the speaker has no option. He had to repair the wall with the neighbor even he is not uh, desired to do so. I hope this poem is clear. Let's move to the next poem. A bird came down the walk. It was written by Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson was born in 1830. She was an American poet best known for her frequent themes of death and mortality. Some of her famous works are Because I Could Not Stop for Death, I am Nobody Who Are You, I Heard a Fly Buzz When I Died, I Taste a Liquor Never Brewed. Finally, she was died on 15th May 1886. Let's move to the summary of the poem. So in this poem, Emily Dickinson, she depicts the moments of a bird which came down the walk and yet the angle warm. Then it drank dew from, the, from a grass and it was looking around with his velvet head. Here velvet head is a meta metaphorical comparison. So, like uh, one is in that danger. When the speaker offered him breadcrumbs, the bird opened its wings and flew away like a ocean butterfly and fishes made their journey with a focus. The bird unrolled his feathers and flew, flew softly. This is the shortest message that Dickinson mentioned in her poem. So, the theme of the poem is nature. Let's move to the next poem. Daddy. It was a wonderful poem written by Sylvia Plath. She was born in 1932 at Boston at Cambridge University. She met Ted Hughes and married him later. He, her collected poem was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry in 1981. She also wrote a novel, The Bell Jar, which was published shortly before her death in 1963. She committed suicide and died in 1963. Let's move to the summary of the poem. Daddy was her famous poem in which she talks more about her father Otto Plath and her husband Ted Hughes. She compares herself to a Jew and she portrays her father as a Hitler 
and she explained the cruelty and how she lived all those years with full of pain like very hard to breathe and hard to speak she compared her husband as a vampire who drank her blood for one year out of frustration she conveyed that she would kill her father and and her husband if her father is alive this is the message conveyed in this poem daddy let's move to the next poem bankers are just like anybody else except richer it was a, it was a poem written by ogden nash ogden nash was an american poet in 1931 he published two volumes of verses hard lines and free wheeling soon he became as popular writer of humorous verse he is a popular writer for humorous verse so we all know that humorous means comedy his best known collection of verses are the face is familiar good intentions family reunion parents keep out marriage lives untold adventures of santa claus this poem bankers are just like anybody else except richer is written in the usual ogden nash combining fun and philosophy he is presenting the banker as viewed by the common man ogden paints quite a comic picture of the banker being ruthless with a poor and slavish before the rich he also makes a joke of the fact that money counts in modern life i hope you learned the lesson from this poem the following poem is i hear america singing written by walt whitman walt whitman was an american poet born of english dutch and wells stock he is popularly known as father of free verse and father of american poetry he was famous for his work leaves of grass in this poem whitman tells about the people of america who were singing happily in their hectic coast He said that carpenter, mason, boatman, even deckhand were singing happily. The shoemaker, hatter, woodcutter, plough boy were singing in their busy schedule, that is, in their mechanics. He also speaks about American mothers and wives were singing joyfully in their household chorus. All the people of America were singing in all times. and he could hear the melodious song so louder this is the message conveyed in this poem i hope this video finds useful thank you for watching